we're going to help you how to determine if you're going to be able to go flying or not to be able to go flying based on looking at the weather reports. Keep it in mind, FAA publications, there's the Cessna course, or King schools, sporties, whatever videos you're using for your ground school, make sure you watch the videos that pertain to the weather forecast and the weather reports. Every aviation weather report is gets done on UTC time over in London. In the summer months, we are four hours behind. In the winter months, we are five hours behind. To have a reminder in case you have any question, on the top right, you can scroll down, go to the cl- watch, go to world clock, and you can edit clocks. That way you have New York and London. London is the same as UTC time. So now that we know that we see the plus four, we know we're going to be subtracting four hours from every weather report. But it's important to know that we're doing the weather forecast the night before the lesson. So we're assuming that tomorrow at 11 a.m. out of Codwell, we're going to have our flight. First thing we're going to do is 11 plus 4 will give us 1,500. So what we have here is because the iPad is horizontal, now we have this option of favorites. So what we did here is we type in Kilo Charlie Delta Whiskey and we press the star. And we also did it for the local airports, Codwell, Morristown, Teterboro, Newark, Stewart and Allentown. The reason why we have those airports and the surrounding area is because it will give us a very good idea what the weather is doing and we can start comparing forecasts. By having all those airports, you can see that we have Stewart, Allentown, Morristown, Caldwell, Teterboro, and Newark. It is important to note that Caldwell and Morristown do not give us a weather forecast. So the night before, we will start looking at the TAF, the terminal area forecast. And we're gonna look if the flight is scheduled to the part of 1500, we're gonna look what's the weather doing before and what is the weather gonna do after? Because we also gotta account for the duration of the, of the flight plus a little bit of a buffer. So for our purposes, we're looking at this forecast is in the first one's in the green, the 27 is the date, 2340 is the time at which the report was done. The 2800 is from when the report is active or when does the report start? 2906 until is when it's valid. So they're forecasting that the weather is going to be, the winds are variable at four knots, visibility better than six miles, scatter 4,000, broken 10,000. But then we're going to start seeing that the weather starts changing. But because our flight is scheduled to the part at 1500 Sulu, we're going to look at, let's start with 12. So from 28, 28 being the day, 1200 Sulu, winds are variable at four knots, three miles, light rain, mist, broken 800, overcast 1200. At 1500 Sulu, which is our scheduled uh, departure, is calling for winds light, five miles visibility, mist, 800, scatter. Broken 2000. Two hours later from when our lesson is supposed to be, when we're supposed to be landing, they're calling that uh, from the 28th, which is tomorrow, 1700 Sulu, winds are 230 at five knots, visibility better than six, broken 4000. Notice terminal area forecast is coming out of Teterboro. Now, if we look at Newark, we'll also have very sim- similar forecasts. I'm going to look at Stewart, and I'm going to see that they're expecting the same. However, they're expecting to be a little bit better. Allentown is agreeing with everybody else. So now we have an idea if tomorrow may be a flying day or not. Once you're done with the TAF, you're going to Maps on the top left. You can tap on the Radar. And you can take a look, you will zoom out, and now we can take a look and actually what are they talking about? Where are they forecasting this rain? And we can see that there's this green line of rain showers that are going to be moving in overnight. The other thing you need to be looking out for, uh, we go to the top left and we'll make sure we have the TFRs active and you will see this red circles. And when you tap on it, it will tell you what's going on. So if you see a red circle, you might want to start getting comfortable on reading those reports. Up to this point, everything was the night before. Now it's actually noon. So we talked about that our flight was going to take off at 11. So we'll adjust for that. We're going to say that the flight was delayed due to weather. The first thing we're going to do looking at the iPad, I'm going to scroll and refresh all the airports that we have in our favorites. I'm going to go to Codwell, METAR, and I'm going to look at the METAR report. Notice that it's on red, indicating that it's IFR conditions. So now the way this will read is Codwell. Today is the 28th at 1553. The winds are 3303, visibility 5 miles, miss, broken 500, overcast 9000. If you remember, we established that anything below 3500 on the cloud layer 
may be a no-go decision. At this point, the cloud layer is at 500 feet. Now we have the temperature of 11 Celsius, 2.09 altimeter 3002. Then it gets into this remarks where it says rain ended at 1454. Rain began at 1500 and ended at 39. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to press on the tab on the terminal area forecast. The TAF, the terminal area forecast, is an outlook, is a forecast of the weather, while the METAR is a current observation of the current weather conditions at the airport. And given the fact that right now is almost um, 1600 Sulu, now I'm gonna read this tempo line where it says the 28 at 16 dash slash 28 at 17, so it's good for one hour, scatter 800 broken, 1200 broken 2000 if we can assume that we can delay the flight for an extra hour and we have that flexibility we'll take a look at the at the from 28 at 1700 sulu the winds are 270 at seven knots visibility better than six scattered 2000 broken 4000 notice there's still that scatter layer at 2000 if the cloud layers are below 3500 it could impact your go or no go decision one thing that is worth mentioning, notice that this terminal area forecast was done from Teterboro. It's grabbed from Teterboro. It's not the actual airport. Now, looking at the TAF at Newark, we have the conditional remark of the tempo between 1600 and 1700 Sulu, scatter 800, broken 1200, broken 2000. After 1700, they're calling that the clouds are going to be scattered at 2000 feet. So while it's getting better, you still, and it's in the green, because the cloud layers are 2,000 feet, that may be an issue for your flight, depending on the stage of training that you're in. Now, you should also look at Stewart just to get an idea of what the forecast is calling and make sure that everybody's agreeing. Notice that uh, Stewart, it's still agreeing that broken at 1,500. Um, and then Allentown, they're still gonna be reporting overcast, right? So here, if I had to make a decision based on looking at the weather forecast, I'm going to say that it's probably going to stay with the low clouds. And if we're planning to fly at 1700 Sulu, we're probably going to have to cancel the flight. While there are some forecasts, especially in Teterboro and Newark, are calling for slightly better clouds. Once we start looking at Stewart and Allentown, we see that they're actually still forecasting cl low cloud layers. Like we've been saying throughout this video, this is just the basics to make the go or no go decision before you go out to the airport based on the weather briefing. Your instructor will help you build on this knowledge to be able to start reading more accurately weather forecasts and have a better understanding on what is going to happen with the weather.